not looking good for them. The half man's playing Blight Maker, I believe. They have two Blight Makers in this deck. Helps them a, with a lot with tempo, since in this deck, uh, you really want last say and you really want round control. Okay, so Troka does play Vanguards. We see Diplo come down. Will probably be Neckers, yep. Nilfgaard loves Thrive from Diplo. It helps them stay competitive in a long round one. But the Avans deck also has a Ring of Favor, so I don't see them losing round one. Yeah, Troco is clearly desperate for cards. And he... Because he's just playing Lock now on a Necker. And also, he doesn't want to let the Halfman out of the round. But the Halfman hasn't even played Calvite yet, so... They're fine. And they also know the Kashi deck has no Tall Punish. Which guys from next season are you going to get? Uh, what are they? Which one? I sh which one should I get? Yeah, I usually check your Twitter. That's what I do. All of them? Oh, I'm not trying to spend money on Snap this month, man. I mean, I got the free stuff from the web store. And I shared my recap. I mean, I didn't really share. I just clicked the share button. War Machine got some huge news. What does that mean? It got changed or? It can play Infinite and Ebony Maw. Oh. So you can even play cards that can't be played. Until the end of next turn, nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. Anywhere? Jesus. <laughs> so you can play it on a... Can you play it on a Professor X lane too? How is Troco still in this? He's leadered. Wow. He's just fighting tooth and nail for this round. How did his Renfri's gang get put in the graveyard? I missed it. Joust? Joust and a Blightmaker? Weird. What is this at now? This is a 13? Okay. And we're gonna see Leader as well. I get some head by 7 points. Broco's just gonna play Renfrey now, yeah. In Sienna Protector Armor Abuse Deck, what makes you gain armor in your hand when you use the Ale on the two Protectors? Uh, one Protector uh, gets damaged, which boosts the adjacent Protector. Then the Ale Infusion damages them, which boosts this Protector. Right? So they keep going to like red and green, like red and green, red and green. So every time they become damaged from not having been damaged before, that gives cards in the Pirate Player's hand one point of armor. Right? So, because it creates like an infinite loop, this gets damaged, uh, which boosts this, which gets damaged, which boosts this. It causes the Onslaught ability to just keep giving them armor. So, he goes for Stratagem. Five and five, and uses it immediately. Troco just says, I will not let you win this round. He is fighting hard. Makes sense. I'm taking notes right now on how to play my own deck. Like, I would have passed an hour ago with this many... Or, like, Shinmiri also. He would never have stayed in. Troko's like, no, no, no. I got this. 
He's being very scrappy. The Halfman didn't want to play Milton, but I would have played Milton. That's interesting. Well, this game is over now, I think. All Troco needs is Karanthier, uh, and he's going all the way. Yeah, I should mortgage my house. My house is already on a mortgage. And interest rates are really high. I can't get another loan. Why not play Siri? Uh, Siri is like their huge point play. Siri with Sangreal. Like, Milton was a easier card to throw away, I think. But it, th this is also like 22 points. Spirit, how about instead, uh, you just, uh, I just switched to Snap and you raid me every day. How's that? For like a whole week. Then I don't have to mortgage my house. So Troco doesn't have Karanthia. He has two man traps. And looks like, because he won an even, he's not giving up last say, so he can value bleed. Here comes Milton. I wonder if he'll just play without Granthier, just play Kashian. No, you never do that. Not with these leaders. Yeah, he's just gonna value bleed, I think, and try and win a short-ish round three. Yeah, well Halfman played uh Halfman played Calvite, so it's It's expected that they draw golds, right? But the thing is, even their next few cards are all like high quality cards. Because they played a lot of garbage round one. Not garbage, but like, you know, low provision cards like Diplo, Joust, who hurt. Well, from leader. Well, here comes Siri. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea because Troco can just eat that. At least he doesn't boost the Siri so that when Troco uses Mantrap to eat the Siri, it's not gonna... Oh, Troco lets it live. Okay, he's just playing Cat to Thin. Figures maybe Cat's a liability next round. Um, and also figures he has to get the Roach out. So now the half man has committed Siri and Milton. I think you also commit Sangreal here. There's no reason not to. You know. You know the Kashi deck has no tall punish. Go Sangreal for 24 points plus another 12, probably. Oh. Million points Sangreal. Oh, Troco is actually playing Kashi. Okay. He just wants to have as short a round three as possible. Um, as long as he ha he can't get Hero Pass, he'll keep playing. And his hope is to just win with Morntart last say. Probably discard everything and just play Morntart round three. Totally a, a viable way to deal with this deck. Um, the half man isn't able to play Ivar because they're forced to play Vilgefort to counter the cat. But now, man traps are going to get solid points. I think a note I'm taking is just because you don't have Karanthia doesn't mean you can't bleed. Play Kashi anyway. Because when you have cat, they have to either answer Cat or Kashi. Now, some decks can answer both in one turn, like anything with Care Trolled or decks like Jackpot. But opponents that can't answer both of them in the same turn. So here comes the first man trap, creating more larva. 
and putting him within six points, which means half man still can't pass. Uh, this Buclair is also not very good. I think the play here is just to Ivar a Larva. Or, spicy, but you could Guillaume the Kashi. It's a little risky, because it's not going to boost it by much, right? It's going to boost it by five. I don't know what they think they're going to Ivar later, but I guess, yeah, because now Ivar is not going to have any good targets. Because the larva won't die to it. Kroko is now ahead by four points. Uh, Ivar is still like nine points here. It gets him ahead. But... They don't have a good Buclair target. Yeah, Buclair comes down for four points, and then Siri gets them ahead. Troco passes, keeps the Morn card. Oh, he has the pass four. I wonder if Halfman forgot. I certainly forgot. So Ivar has to come down too. See, Ivar would have been would have been nine would have been eight points. So it would have been enough. Yeah, Ivar should have been the play, not Buclair. That's a misplay. And now Troco has double last say. <laughs> wow. If you saw that round one, you would not expect it to end like this. But right now, Troco can discard uh, Karanthir, can discard Iris. Like, nothing else matters. You just discard these two cards. Um, that also doesn't matter. Well, we'll see if they know. If I'm here, I just I literally discard these two cards and then I play this and this is my last two plays. There's Oh, oh. Oh. Black blood is going to kill the Mortart. There's nothing here that can be Karanthiered. That that would have thrive or anything. Wait, 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 wait. But the Halfman has to play Palmerin. And this is now an unboosted card. So Troco, like if Troco had picked Morntar, then it doesn't actually matter. Because Troco played Karanthir, Halfman has to discard the, the Palmerin. He does not discard the Palmerin. Black, oh, he missed the line. He missed the line. Well, actually, he was still going to lose. You just didn't have enough points without this, but... Yeah, this treason's just garbage. <laughs> oh, that black blood could have smurfed. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because double last say. But if it wasn't double last say, that black blood could have done something. <laughs> So if he had played Ivar in the in the And you just save Cause it's not it's kinda like Shillard, right? It's like a last say card that doesn't need last say. If you're against Morntart. But alright, so Troco wins game number one with Kashi. Kashi so far undefeated in the games that I've seen. Also, Spira, are you joining at my tournament next Sunday? Some people say you're washed. Can you still compete in Gwent? Or, have, or has Snap addled your mind? I created a monster, literally. Dude, but Troco played that round one beautifully. You know what? I'm going to put this on YouTube and I'm going to send it to Shinmiri.